In this video, I'm testing Emeralto AI inside of Final Cut Pro versus rotoscoping in After Effects. So starting off with Final Cut Pro, I'll go ahead and duplicate the video, go to Emeralto AI. And now let's go ahead and see if I can easily mask. It looks like on Final Cut, it's doing it pretty easily. All right, there we go. I have it set to fast. Let's track it forward. It looks like it's not really having any problem possibly just right here part of like the backpack looks like it might go in and out of being rotoscoped all right that was weird for some reason it just stopped or i guess it didn't okay so it stopped showing me the screen i never had that happen before so that was pretty weird but looks like it did okay so now i'll go ahead and do masked video and there we go looks like everything masked pretty good use the shrink expand just to Add a little bit of a line. And here we're just playing back. So I think Final Cut did incredible. So now let's go ahead and test this inside of After Effects. So here is the video in After Effects. Go ahead and Command D to duplicate the video. So we're going to use the little brush tool. Go ahead and double click on the video clip. Go over here. Now let's go ahead and draw a line. Add another line down here. Put down option to get rid of all this extra space. A good point to make is I've been using Emeralto AI for a very long time. Barely have used After Effects. So we got the feet. So now we can go to Refine Edge Tool and include the hair. All right, now I'll go back to Fit. It looks good, so now I'll hit Spacebar. And wow, it, it's doing incredible. And it's going extremely fast, much, much faster than it did on Final Cut. Wow, that is absolutely incredible. So now we go back to the composition video, turn off the smaller layer. Okay, I am very surprised at how awesome that did. And I can come over here, you can see it's on 3.0. You also have all these settings over here. So if I had to choose one that I think was better, I definitely think After Effects Roto Brush is much better. That's it for this video. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you prefer Final Cut or After Effects? And thank you so much for watching.